welcome back to my channel welcome to another video here we are again um, this week uh, I've had some fun and games again um, things haven't gone always according to plan um, it's a bit of a custom job um, I painted this my own colors because I thought they looked better than the originals but that's just my opinion now before we start, as always, I'd just like to thank all my subscribers, old and new. Thanks very much for your support, all your continued support, and thanks everybody for all your comments and advice. Okay, so I don't want to bore you too much before we start, because as you know, my videos are always quite long. I never know which bits to leave out or put in, or, you know, it's a bit difficult. So, um... I always think, oh, they're not going to be too long this week, and then uh, by the time I finish editing it, it's sort of <laughs> over an hour. But anyway, um, yeah, so without any more hold-ups, let's get on with um, this restoration video this week. And um, this one, when you've already seen the title, that's something else I always say now. But this one is going to be the Corgi Toys, um, I'm reading it off the box here now, the Corgi Toys um, Bentley Continental Sports Saloon. And that's number 224. And like I say, it's a bit of a custom paint job on this one because I thought the colours would look nicer like this. Okay, so as I always say, please sit back, relax. Enjoy watching the video, see how I got on with this one. Okie dokie then, let's take a closer look at this one. It's not a bad little model this actually. Um, one of the pillars is slightly bent in. It's got a bit of a bow in it, you can see, not bad though. Um, jeweled headlights are there. Um, the emblem on the bonnet, on, on the bonnet, on the uh, radiator grill. It's um, it's almost all there, but not quite. There's just a little piece missing off the end, but it's so small. I was thinking of either just filing the other side to match it, so you don't notice. Um, it's not worth buying a whole new piece just for that. A whole new front, because the rest of this is in good nick, so... Um, yeah, the window unit, well, that's nice. I don't think that's got any cracks. It's got a bit of a, quite a deep gouge in it there, so I don't know if I can get that out. Anyway, we'll have a go. We'll do our best. Um, uh, I don't know if that's a sort of a, a, a break inside the plastic or not. I'll have to have a look. It's difficult to tell. Looks like it might have been something knocked on it and it's kind of frosted it a little bit there. But we'll see if we can do anything about that. Um, the rest is not too, too bad. Boot opens. So she's minus the spare wheel. The jeweled lights for the back, the, the actual jewel parts are missing and the bit that they sit into there's like a plastic bit that fits into those two grooves there so that's missing um, I have got some reproduction ones the bumpers all there at the back um, and it's got the steering it's 
got a little bit of rust in there. It's not too, too bad. I just have to clean it up and I think it'll be okay. So that's the Bentley Continental Sports Saloon, number 224, Corgi Toys. Uh, Two-tone. I won't be doing it that green. Because I haven't got it. But I might do it a champagne gold. I'm not sure yet. Not the whole lot. I'd do it two-tone, but I don't know. I might do the lower half just as champagne gold. We'll see. Yet to be decided. Okie doke then. So, time to dismantle. Got three rivets. So we'll get on and drill those out. Okay then, let's get this Bentley apart. I'll go straight in with a big drill bit. Uh, these um, rivet heads or rivet posts, they've got like, dimples. dimples in them, so I don't need to drill a small with a small drill first. See, they've got a dimple in them. If you can see that. So she's free at the front, free at the back. Oof. Okie dokie. So here's all the steering mechanism. A bit rusty. Not too bad. So we I need a pot. A big one. Plus and there's that little steering rod. Same as the old uh, beetle. Ah, now there's a spring there. Okay, oh, everything's falling out. Okay, so there's the boot. There's the bumper. Jeez, I didn't have a look at this before it fell out. Anyway, that's all in good nick. Um, the interior is shite, really. <laughs> it's a bit bent, really, but uh, it's, it's okay. It just needs a good wash. So we put that in the poor man's washing machine. The glass is okay. And that isn't riveted, it's just pushed in. Got a locating pin in the roof. So that's sound and it's pretty good. A bit scratched, but we'll see if we can buff that out. Okay, so now we got this. Hang on, I better get this pin out. That's it. I've got the pin. Right, um, I'm going to have to drill that piece out there for the front, get the front off. So what we'll do, we'll glue that in and we're putting it all back. Not easy to get in. more like a Rolls Royce than a Bentley one that one. It is a Bentley one you can see by I think the detail on it is difficult to see. But when you look at it from the top it looks more like the old 
emblem on the Rolls Royce. Yeah, we should shove that in there. Well, should that go in there? Yeah, put that in there. I won't risk putting it in the caustic. Right, so we got these lights, dual dead lights, so we try and push them out from the back. Luckily, you can see they go through there and there. So we should be able to just push them out, hopefully. There they go. That's one. And oh, that one's tight. It's tight. <clears throat> okay. Oof, it's really tight this one. I think it's going. There she's going. There it is. Okay. So that's that. That's out. So I'll have to drill these. Not there. Not there. I'll file that flat probably. And file a bit off these. And then drill that through. I mustn't go too too far. Because I'll go right through that hole there. Um, the back ones. They're pretty sturdy posts look. So should be good to drill those out. Should be alright those. That's cool. Okay, so now this back axle, so it's just a case of pushing it up and out to the back. That's it. So that's, uh, that has been painted, so I will just do it my normal grey that I do for the bases like I do on the bubble cars. It's not quite the right grey, but I think it looks alright, so this one's slightly lighter. Okay, doke, so this will go in the caustic. That I, ooh, that's sort of chromy chromed. Don't know whether that should go in or not. We'll see. I might put it in gently. Okay. So that's definitely for the caustic soda. And that's for the poor man's washing machine. Okay, we'll catch you when it's caustic soda time which is right now really right now okay so the hot water's in the parts are in now for the caustic here it goes bubbling away nicely so we'll leave that for a few minutes Okay, that's it all cleaned up, ready for painting. Um, I am going to do a silver base coat on that because there is, I'm not going to do the original colours, I'm going to do my own colours because I don't like that green. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to do my own colours on that. So I'll do the silver base coat and then you'll see as I go along what colour I'm going to do it. Okay, this I'm going to have to spray this matte black and then I'm going to do it with a Molotov pen because that's supposed to be all chrome. Okie dokie, so we're going to get on with that.
Okay, so that's a couple of coats of silver on me. I will give it another coat because I'm not happy with that. So I'll give it another coat and we'll see how it turns out. I have also prime the base, put primer on the base and um, I'm going to paint that my usual grey I use for the corgi bases when that primer's dry I'll do this tomorrow and then obviously I'll lacquer it after that and then I'll leave that to dry whilst I'm messing around with all the other bits so it's nice and dry when we come to put it all together again So that's that, that's that piece, I've sprayed this bumper pot matte black because that's got to be done in chrome, so I have to do that and then also the boot, I'll give that another coat as well, silver. Okay, We'll catch you in a bit for the next step. Okay, so we've got the silver all done. It's been drying for nearly three days. And uh, now I've got a mask off. So this isn't going to be easy. Um, I've got to mask this off along this line. So I'm going to mask the top off. And I think it's got to go like along there, not along this line, but above it. So it's not really an easy one to mask off. So I'm going to have to be careful how I do this. Okay, so there it is. Um, I've masked it off. I'm just going to double check around the edges and um, I might put a little bit of lacquer just to make sure I've got less chance of it bleeding through. So I'm going to do this one, um, a dark red, a maroony metallic red because I've seen a picture of one on the internet, a real one, and it looks really nice so that's what I'm going to do. Red and silver. Okay then, I'm going to get on and paint that up and then we'll see how it turns out. Right, I've got three minutes left on my memory card. Um, so I've painted the red. So we've got to get this masking tape off now. So here goes. Where to start? Right where I've got my Right where I've got my cramp, I suppose. Oh. Sorry if you can hear heavy breathing, but my nose is right next to the microphone on the camera. Cut this. Cut this a bit. Make it a bit easier.
You don't have to take this clamp off. Not a great edge there. Um, I didn't have my mask and take quite straight, so I might just have to touch that a little bit in. Got a slight little bit of bleed there. I'll try and get that off with the uh, polish. I'll just have to touch in a couple of little bits there because that's not great. Okay. Right, well I'll put this back on the clamp so that's that. I'm gonna to touch that in and then I'm gonna go and lacquer it. Okay, so my my memory card ran out when I was uh, taking the tape off. Right, um that's it, I've I've lacquered it. Doesn't look too too bad, so I think it'll be all right. Okay, so in here I've got one of the tail lights, and I've got to put the little jeweled little jeweled rear lights in. You can see them there. So they're tiny; they look bigger in the camera. So I've got obviously the two tail lights. The other one's in that clip, and. Um, that's just the reflection of my jacket in there. It looks like the jewels are already in it. Um, yeah, so I've got to try and get them in. So that's going to be a fiddle. Okay, so I'm going to use a cocktail stick and my camera's a bit low. I can't uh, see what I'm doing. Oh, bollocks, I've got glue all over my bloody glasses now. Jesus, I'm getting all in a mess. I'm getting all in a mess. Right, hang on, let's lift this up a bit. Right. Okay, so I've got one of these, don't know if you can see, I don't know if it's focusing or not, I've got my bloody glasses on and everything's going blurred, so one in, I can't see if it's straight. To be very careful not to lose them. Okay, I've got another one. Stay in there. It looks alright. So I'm going to do the other one. And then I'll leave that dry out. Cocktail stick. That's still some glue on it, so now 
Yeah, my. Uh, yeah, I'm going to wipe that off and put some more glue. My memory stick saying it's nearly finished now. So. <laughs> oh, stay there, stay there, don't fall out. One more, one more, mid years. Blue tech stuck a bit on, yeah. Blue tech or white tech or whatever it flipping well called. There. Jesus, those are fiddly. Oop. There. So I shall leave that dry. Okie dokie. I'm just going to clean up these bits, the wheels, the steering, and um, I've started a bit on these front ones. Um, I've wide brushed those springs a little bit. So, uh, yeah, I'm just going to get on and do that. Um, you've seen me doing before. Uh, just put the, this in the drill chuck, spin it around, a bit of fine wet and dry paper on the axle first to clean it up and then uh, either my brasso or my auto cell clean the wheels polish the wheels up so I'm going to get on and do that there that's all those bits cleaned up so that's done out of the way Right, I'm going to put the front grill on now. So, I need to put a little bit of super glue. Put some on the bottom side of the tub. There it goes. Um, I'll use this. A little bit on there. I'll put a bit on the actual thing here. Just enough to hold it. Okay, so the memory card ran out quicker than I thought, so I put the excuse me front bumper on, front grill. I put a number plate. It's a bit, um, it's not that great, so I made one. So now we've got to put these. I'll move that out of the way. We've got to put these little lights, these rear lights in. So let's have a look. Now I need to put my glasses on for this.
Okay, so <clears throat> here's the first one. So it, as so, what I'm going to do here? I've got the thing here, so I've just got to put a bit of glue. A bit of glue each side. If I get some on the end of my stick, a bit of glue there. Can't see what the hell I'm doing. This isn't good. Okay, so let's get this on. Sticking to my fingers and everything but where I wanted to stick. Okay, that's one. So the next one, the um, the thing is going to be. Next one I'm putting the glue in here, look. There. Okay, so we put these two springs in. Actually, we could put the old uh, window unit in next. Okay, wheels, so those are going to go that way. That's where the, see that side faces the bottom, but the car's upside down, so it'll face the top when we're putting them in, yeah. If I can get it in. There she is. And then this steering, I don't know, steering rod, track rod, whatever. And goes in over the top. I might I'll use the pliers. There. 
Okay, put the boot in next. I didn't mean stick the boot in, I mean put the boot lid in. Yeah, that pushes in. See, it sort of clicks into place. Now we're going to put this back bumper bit in. I just crammed the whole lot because uh, it seemed easier. So I'm going to put that there. Oops, I've knocked all the... I forgot the steering has all come out. <laughs> what a clown. What's a tit? Let's have another go. Right, put the interior. Perhaps I should have put that before, eh? Uh, should have put that before the before the uh, bumper part. There you go. Right, now that slides around a bit, okay so um, just check the base fits, That's it. Right. Get some glue in there. Okay, let's get these rivets in. So shorter one in the front.
Oh, for goodness sake. Okay, that's that. Okay, so I'm going to push down on those um, for a bit and then uh, I'll come back to you when it's stuck. Right, that's that done. Um, unfortunately, <laughs> when I opened the boot, um, it's very close and it made a chip there and I tried to touch it up and it's um, you can see it sticks out like it's all done so it's kind of spoilt it but I guess it's one of them I would have probably been better just leaving the chip um, but anyway apart from that the rest of it hasn't turned out too bad Okie dokie, so that's another one finished. Um, another one safe from the Corgi scrapyard. Didn't turn out too bad, um, apart from that chip in the back. I've pinched the spare wheel for now from the Mercedes I did um, last year. Only until when I put my next order in at Model Supplies and then I'll get a spare one for this. Because I haven't got any spare wheels, corgi looking wheels. So I made a box um, which is about two millimeters too short <laughs> so I'm gonna have to redo it, make another one. So um, uh, it's not all been straightforward with this one at all but anyway it's not turned out too bad like I say so it's, at least it's another one saved. Um, I'll put some jersey number plates again. Um, there you go. Right, so, well, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Um, I've quite enjoyed the, the actually doing this one. Um, you know, I had a few problems along the way. Uh, the colours not turned out too bad. I like the colour scheme. And um, you know, I'm quite pleased in a way the way it's turned out. So, like I say, I hope you've enjoyed this video. And if you have, please like and subscribe. And um, you know, join me again in two weeks' time for another restoration video. I don't know what it will be yet because I haven't decided. Um, I have got a um, model that was donated to me so I might start getting on with that one. And um, yeah, I'll, uh, we'll see how I get on. Okay, so hopefully see you again in two weeks time. So and until then. Please stay safe, look after yourselves, take care, and all the very best. See you then. Ta-ra for now. Cheery. Bye-bye.